Welcome to the first virtual book fair USA. Now, global design authors Francisco Garcia Bautista and Yelena Trujillo presents their books, presented by Libertad Betancourt and interpreted by Manuel Ramos. Please, guys, go ahead. Thank you so much, Luis Palacios. Thank you, thank you. We have uh, our angel in backstage helping us for this transmission. You don't know what they have to do. They have to do many things because in backstage, they need to connect the writers. They have to be sure that we are in phase live and many things. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, in the same way, I have to say thank you for our co-founders, Cesar Salvatierra and Alan Morales. This is the eighth Fair, virtual book fair, the first time in Peru, in Mexico, Argentina, Colombia, Spain, Italy, United Kingdom, and now in my country, United States of America. Thank you for being here and a big kiss to my country too, Mexico. My heart is half and half. My name is Libertad Betancourt. I am a uh, cultural ambassador of writers in America and in Europe, and I promote culture around the world. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you at the same time for our guest. We have two guests. Yelena Rodriguez, um, Francisco Garcia, and we have our translator, Manuel Ramos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I have to say welcome. I'm in Houston, Texas. I know you are in Panama and in Mexico City, right? And it's your turn. I would like that um, if, uh, if both of you, uh, if you, would you like to give us the, I, I, I'm sorry, I, 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 don't, I don't care papers. I prefer be spontaneous. And I would like that you introduce yourself. Tell us a little more about your life and, and what you are doing right now. Um, Jelena and after Francisco. Thank you. Okay, buenas muchas gracias, Libertad. Todos. Y buenas noches a todos. Eh, les damos pase a Jelena y a Francisco para que den una breve introducción de cada uno. Adelante. Buenas noches a todos. Eh, mi nombre es Elena Rodríguez, Jelly Trujillo, como autora eh, del libro Soy Feliz Gracias a Mí. Muy contenta de estar con todos los que nos acompañan de todas partes del mundo en esta noche, en esta feria virtual, que espero que sea la primera más, una de muchísimas en las que yo pueda participar. Realmente... Okay. Uh, okay, uh, thank you, Jelena. In this case, she mentions that she is very happy to be here. Uh, she considers that this virtual book fair should be the first of uh, many more. And in this case, uh, she's presenting her book, uh, I'm happy because of me. Okay, continua, por favor, Jelena. Sí, la realidad, este libro nace en un momento eh, de mucha confusión. En, en el mundo y yo sentía que yo necesitaba aportar algo a la sociedad, algo a la humanidad y por allí un pajarito me dijo deberías escribir, un amigo muy querido llamado Enrique me dijo deberías escribir y así nace Soy Feliz, gracias a mí. Ok, in this case she mentions that this book eh, is eh, born during a very eh, a moment with a lot of confusion, uh, confusion. So in this case, one friend recommends her uh, to write this book. In this case, her friend, uh, friend's name is Enrique. Ahora pasamos con Thank Francisco. You. Está bien. It's your turn, Francisco. Ah, hola. <laughs> hola, perdón. Bueno, mi nombre es Francisco García. El nombre de mi libro es Desahuciado ni Madres. Para los que no entienden eh, el término de ni madres, pues es el lenguaje muy, muy mexicano, el lenguaje coloquial, que significa no lo acepto, no lo quiero. Me dijeron que estaba desahuciado con solo siete meses de vida. Yo dije no, no lo acepto y no va a ser así. Y no fue así. Okay, in this case, uh, Paco mentions uh, that uh, the name of his book is related to a hopeless uh, person, and in this case, is related to a person who doesn't accept the diagnostic that he received uh, of some doctors. In this case, uh, they were giving him just some months uh, of life. 
Así es, entonces es un libro testimonial. Aquí narro mi historia de vida de cómo logré superar un cáncer en fase terminal, donde todos los doctores solamente me dieron siete meses de vida como máximo para vivir. Esto fue hace cinco años y hoy a cinco años de distancia estoy en el mejor estado de salud de toda mi vida. Ok, en este caso eh, Francisco mencionó que este eh, libro es relacionado con eh, el the diagnóstico que he recibido sobre el cáncer que estaba sufriendo. All the doctors that he asked uh, told him that he was going to have just five uh, or seven months of life, but uh, there has uh, passed uh, five years and he is still living and he has uh, his better health uh, state. Wonderful, I love it. And my question, I want to ask you, back, uh, Francisco, and next um, uh, and after, I'm going to ask Yelena. My question is, what is the most um, uh, difficult moment for you um, when they told you, uh, when you were in front of the doctor with the diagnostic, What was your reaction in that moment, not after, not after one hour, and in that moment? Es el, la, la noticia me la dio mi, mi esposa. Cuando yo salgo de la cirugía, es cuando el médico le dice a mi esposa, Francisco ya no va a vivir más de siete meses. En ese momento, cuando yo despierto de la cirugía, todavía anestesiado, estaba llena la sala de amigos, familiares esperando las buenas noticias y cuando yo abro mis ojos y veo todo a mi alrededor en ese momento yo me di cuenta ya en dónde estaba yo parado sabía que algo no andaba bien pero nunca imaginé nunca pasó por mi mente esa sentencia de, de muerte médica en ese momento mi esposa me, me, me tomó de la mano eh, pues en automático okay. se le salieron las lágrimas de sus ojos y me dijo Tienes siete meses de vida. Ahí fue el momento clave, el momento de shock inesperado. Oh, okay, thank you, Francisco. In this case, uh, Francisco mentions that uh, he received the new after a uh, surgery that he received. So the doctors told uh, told this new to her wife and uh, there were many friends and he was thinking, he felt that something wrong was there. And at the end, of course, he knew that's bad news uh, because her, his wife told him that he was going to live just for seven months else. Wow, wow, it touched, this story touched my heart. And I want to ask you, Yelena, I know that uh, I have some notes here. I'm going, I'm going to read not all, but about your book. Your book is, uh, let me see, I have many papers. It's, I am happy thanks to me. But I don't want to read this. I'm going to read it later. If you are talking about love yourself, it means that something wrong happened before and a bad experience or you didn't have a good a good experience in life and for that decision you decide i'm going to love myself i'm going to change my life like the stories in your book because there are many stories there of different ladies and tell me why you decide when you decided to love yourself Ok, Yelena, eh, Libertad eh, percibe que tuvo que haber un momento difícil antes de la redacción de este libro, y al igual que las demás historias que también incluyes en este. Cuéntanos, por favor, si se puede, eh, a grandes rasgos de qué se trataron esos momentos. Momentos fueron muchos. La verdad que este libro, de una u otra forma, recor eh, recoge muchos años de, de vida muchos años de experiencias. Eh, puedo decir con total seguridad que hace 10 años tomé la decisión de quererme a mí, de ponerme a mí okay. por delante. 
Okay, in this case, uh, Jelena mentions that uh, this book contains uh, stories about uh, 10 years of many different experiences. Uh, so she considers that she started to love herself 18 years ago, exactly 18 years ago. And also she, she mentions that um, it, it, we are going to find this in the book. Ciertamente eh, he de confesar que dentro de las 10 historias hay un pedacito de mí en cada una de ellas, porque eso es lo que, lo que genera el sentimiento. Sin embargo, también hay 10 eh, historias de 10 mujeres muy valientes que se atrevieron a contar, a abrir su vida para que otras mujeres no experimenten lo que ellas pasaron. Okay, uh, also she adds that uh, the 10 stories that we are going to find in her book contains uh, some pieces of her, but of course they uh, mention uh, the stories of other women. In this case also she are very brave women. In this case also she decided to uh, tell her stories for giving a message for other women that would be suffering something similar. Fantastic, fantastic. I'm going to read a comment about your book. I recommend that reading, which motivates us to move forward positively in any situation. His lines confirm us that our story can be a detail next to situations and stories that other people live. Everything in life happens for a reason and everything has a solution. The key is to face in with the best attitude and disposition, taking into an account, account that there is a supreme being to whom we can always turn and by whom the must allow ourselves to be guided. Congratulations to everyone. It's Mina Suavi, International Operations Officer, Banco General, Bank General, right? I, I was reading your, your, your biography um, and I'm, we are going to talk a little more about your biography, but now I don't want, I want to talk with Francisco. Francisco, I know you have a, an organization, it's an anonymous, um, uh, anonymous association, I don't know, uh -huh. yeah, society, um, because I'm thinking in, I'm trying to translate the, the language, and the other is for an organization without uh, benefits of of uh, money, you know, the, the benefits. And tell us, it's the same name. I saw it's the same name. Tell me more about that because you try to help with that, with that organization. You want, you want to try to find the balance between mind, heart, and body. Tell us a little more about it. Sí, es, es, una, eh, es un entrenamiento. Soy creador de un entrenamiento para la recuperación de la salud en donde yo baso eh, toda mi recuperación en cuatro pilares fundamentales, ¿no? Es la alimentación, la alimentación fisiológicamente correcta, vamos, eh, el ejercicio, la desintoxicación corporal y desde luego también el entrenamiento mental. Esos cuatro okay. pilares son los que a mí... Eh, fueron con los que yo logré mi recuperación y eso es lo que hoy con lo que ayudo a otras personas a que también se acerquen a los mismos resultados que yo, que yo, que yo obtuve. Okay, thanks, uh, Francisco. In this case, uh, he mentions that he based, uh, bases his uh, book and uh, philosophy that he has now in four uh, specific um, ideas. In this case, the first one is related to a main training for accepting uh, the uh, illness that you have and what you have to face. In the second place, he mentions the nutrition, that it's uh, a very important part. And the third one is uh, the exercise, the workout, that is a very important part of uh, the um, solution for this uh, illness. And the last one is the uh, detox. I think that you have to eliminate uh, wrong things or bad things that you have in your uh, organism. And he considers that those four are the most important parts uh, for getting uh, a better shape, uh, in this case, facing the cancer. 
Así okay. es. Okay, and it's an anonymous society and non-profit organizations are the correct words. Thank you. Yes. Continue. Ok. Hoy, hoy se reconoce que el cáncer es una enfermedad por estilo de vida. Una enfermedad que la causa nuestros, nuestros malos hábitos de salud y de vida. Entonces, lo que tenemos que hacer es corregir esos malos hábitos y cambiarlos por, por, por buenos hábitos. Esto significa que estaremos cerca de poder revertir nuestro padecimiento. Desde luego, revertir un cáncer conlleva esfuerzo, disciplina, constancia y un cambio de, de creencias. Ok, en este caso, eh, Francisco mencionó que ahora sabemos que el cáncer es una enfermedad causada por malos hábitos relacionados con la nutrición y el trabajo. Así que en este caso, él se enfocó his uh, philosophy on changing uh, and checking, of course, first, uh, those bad habits that maybe we have um, uh, and are causing the cancer. And also after that, he uh, mentions that we have to change that, but it, everything starts in our mind. So the first idea is that we have to change the chip of our minds. And for sure, we are going to be able to be very close uh, to cure this illness. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Yelena, I want to ask you, I don't, I don't want to ask you anything. I want that you have a, a, some minutes to tell us what is the most, uh, the main idea, what you love in your book. What do you recommend this book for everybody? Uh, Yelena, nos gustaría que nos cuentes, eh, sin re, tal vez responder alguna pregunta, algo que a ti te nazca, de cuanto al contenido de tu libro o el mensaje que quisieras regalar. Mira, nosotros pasamos buscando fuera de nosotros lo que está en nosotros mismos. Lo, es la toma de las decisiones que hacemos entre lo que es correcto y lo que no, lo que está bien y lo que no para nuestra felicidad. Muchas veces nos sacrificamos y sacrificamos las ilusiones de nuestro corazón por hacer las cosas que hacen feliz a otros en lugar de pensar en las cosas que nos hacen feliz a nosotros. Ok, en este caso, Yelena mencionó que we spend a lot of time during our lives uh, looking for something uh, that we think that uh, is in other people. But in this case, she mentions that all of the things are inside uh, of us. So she considers that it is important to understand it for uh, also taking advantage of this and sharing it with other people. Cuando tú identificas lo que a ti te hace feliz y empiezas a alinear todos tus esfuerzos hacia lo que tú quieres sin perder la sensibilidad hacia el mundo y hacia el ser humano que tú tienes al lado, tú puedes lograr esa felicidad. Okay, so the key point of uh, this uh, commentary is that when we understand it, we are going to be able to focus on the things that we want for our lives. And of course, it's important not to lose our sensibility. Uh, by this way, she considers that it, we are going to be able to find the happiness that is a very uh, famous and popular term. But in this case, she mentions that by this way, we are going to find that, the happiness. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. And um, Francisco, how, how is your life now? How do you feel helping others and Do you have testimonies that you help others in your life after it happened to you? Es, bueno, es realmente un proyecto este, nuevo. Justamente lo, lo lancé al mercado eh, a principios del año pasado. Entonces, derivado de la, de la pandemia, pues todas esas eh, presentaciones que estaba haciendo yo eh, personales o en vivo pues las tuvimos que dejar de lado. Pero esto me sirvió para crear un curso digital. Ahora tengo un curso digital que voy a lanzar al mercado 
eh, el 30 de junio, que se llama Catalizadores Mentales. Ok, en este caso, eh, Francisco mentions that he eh, started this story with his book eh, at the beginning of the uh, 2020, but due to the pandemic time, he had to stop uh, making his presentations, his book presentations. So he started to make it virtual. So as a consequence of this uh, movement, he is going to present a course, an online course uh, at the end of this month. Um, congratulations for that, Francisco. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. thank you. Yelena, I want to to ask you how global is helping you to to promote your book could Manuel, you repeat the I question think. please uh, i want to that. know how a global global uh, self self-published books how is helping her to promote the books because we know that is is in the back of us of, of you okay. of your yeah. books Ah, eh, claro. Eh, muchas gracias, eh, Yelena. En este caso, ¿cómo le está ayudándote en este caso Global Design? ¿Cómo es el movimiento de tus libros virtualmente, físicamente? Cuéntanos un poquito más de ello. Mira, tengo que decir que a ellos yo les mando un abrazo y un beso enorme. Global ha sido esa luz en el camino para un ser que jamás pensó que podía escribir un libro, que jamás pensó que podía dejar un legado. Desde el primer momento en que yo conversé con, con Global, eh, con mis amigos, porque ahora son mis amigos, y les dije que quería escribir, pero no me atrevía, me acompañaron como si fuera un bebé, paso a paso, a hacer cada uno de los pasos que se requerían hasta ya ver mi libro publicado. Y desde ese momento ellos han estado como mi familia detrás de mí, acompañando cada paso de mi camino. Thank you, Jelena. In this case, as a summary, uh, she mentions that uh, global design, uh, it's like a like on her book story. In this case, she mentions that she always had the desire of writing, but she never knew how to do this. So when, he find, when she, find, uh, she found a global design, they gave her the steps for uh, making this uh, desire come true. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't believe time passed really quickly. We have to go. We have only one minute to say, where can we find your books for uh, Yelena and, and Francisco? Tell us where can I buy the books? And not just me, all around the world. Recordemos, no estamos solos. Eso es importante. Nosotros tenemos un valor. El libro lo pueden encontrar. Soy feliz gracias a mí en www.amazon.com. En todas las ligas va a estar vendiéndose en todos los países. Así que ustedes nada más ponen soy feliz gracias a mí, Jelly Trujillo, y pueden comprar el libro. Muy bien. Este, okay, mi libro you. también lo pueden encontrar en Amazon en formato digital. Y en formato físico lo pueden encontrar en mi página personal, es pacogarcia.com.mx. Ahí lo encuentran en formato físico. Ok, thank you very much uh, for both. In this case, Jelena mentioned that uh, we can find her book in Amazon, uh, in all the countries that we want. And of course, in the case of uh, Paco, uh, we can find his book also in uh, Amazon, but if we want uh, to have it uh, uh, in a physical way, we can uh, look for his Facebook page as uh, Paco Garcia, and we are going to find uh, the chance to have his book physical. Wow, thank you so much, Manuel, Manuel Ramos. Thank you so much, Yelena and Francisco. You know, hopeless, no way. I don't want to say in Spanish. You can say that, but not me. No way. And the other book is I'm happy thanks to me. Okay, thank you for being here. Thank you for Global Design Tube to promote and help writers in the world. And thank you so much for uh, Luis Palacios, Who, for this impeccable transmission. Thank you, thank you, Manuel, for impe your impeccable translation too. Thank you, and it was my pleasure. Thank you.
Bye. Okay. Uh, <coughs> thank Gracias. you, Libertad, for this brilliant interview. Thank you, thank you Manuel, for the interpretation. And thank you guys, uh, Yelena and Francisco, for showing us your books. This is the first virtual book fair USA. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.